now <laughs> let us differentiate x square sin x using first principle. Now, let f x is equal to x square sin x then f x plus h is equal to x plus h whole square because it is x square and then sin x sin x plus h. By definition of derivative d by dx of f x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 f x plus h minus f x upon h. Is it clear? Now, d by dx of f x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 x plus h whole square sin x plus h minus x square sin sin x upon h. Now, this becomes limit h approaches to 0 x square plus 2 x h plus h square sin x plus h minus x square sin x upon h. <coughs> okay. Now, further limit h approaches to 0 x square sin x plus h minus sin x one thing. Now, what I have done? I have just multiplied x square and sin x plus h and this x square sin x is already there. So, x square taken common from first term and the last term plus now we are having 2 x h plus h square with sin x plus h upon h. Okay. Now, limit h approaches to 0 x square with. Now, here we are going to use sin c sin d. This becomes 2 sin h by 2 into cos x plus h by 2 upon h plus limit h approaches to 0 h common from these two I have taken h common now we are left with 2 x sin x plus h one thing and plus h sin x plus h upon h. Okay. So, we have used what we have used c and d formula sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 sin c minus d upon 2 cos c plus d upon 2. So, this formula basically we have used for this part. Is it clear? Now, limit h approaches to 0 x square with 2 sin h by 2 
कॉस एक्स प्लस एच बाई टू अपॉन टू टाइम्स एच बाई टू प्लस नाउ दिस एच एंड दिस एच कैंसल नाउ एच अप्रोचेस टू जीरो सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद टू एक्स साइन एक्स एंड दिस बिकम्स जीरो प्लस जीरो ओके सो दिस बिकम्स लिमिट एच अप्रोचेस टू जीरो Let's take this figure outside. X square limit h approaches to zero. This two and this two also also cancels. So we are having sine h by two upon h by two limit h approaches to zero cos x plus h by two plus two x sine x. Now, this becomes one. This becomes one. Okay, so we are left with x square. Now here, cos x plus two x sine x. This is the answer. And limit h approaches to zero. Sine h upon h is equal to one. This we have used for this.